What's up guys? It's Missy. I am back with a SimCity Build It video and we're going to talk about how fucked up SimCity Build It is. So as many of you know, I was having issues with my old phone because my dumb ass dropped it a couple times and even though it didn't break the screen, it broke the part where the headphones plug into and so my headphones would randomly select things on my screen. I did determine that it was in fact the phone that was broken, not the headphones. So I would plug my headphones in to do a video and if it was turned the wrong way, it would automatically start opening apps up on my screen. On top of it breaking that, it also broke the speaker on my phone. So it was super fucking annoying. So I ended up having to get a new device. So I went ahead and I went to the phone store. I had an upgrade available and I bought a Moto G Stylus. Now, I thought I was gonna be safe with Moto because I hadn't had this issue since I switched from LG. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's going on. And the next person that comments to restart the app, I leave your address in the comments because I should drive there and smack the fuck up out your face. Okay, I am not that stupid, all right? I might not be a fucking computer genius, but I am not that stupid. I, Believe me, I tried that, okay? So I'm gonna make a detailed video and show you guys exactly what's going on. I even took this piece of shit phone <laughs> into Geek Squad and really laid it out for them and showed them exactly what this does because it makes no sense. By, by all logic, there's no logic that makes any sense at all when it comes to this. Now, many of you know that when you guys download SimCity Build It, you're going to have to go through the tutorial process. So what's so interesting about this is first they'll say, well, it has to do with how you downloaded the game. So you need to uninstall it and re-download re it, right? Well, let me tell you something. It's been downloaded and re-downloaded, oh, I don't know, 97 times. So trust me, that's not it. Now, what's so interesting about this is, hang on just a second here. I want to get this bubble up over here so I can see if it's recording. I'm going to open the app and it's going to play perfectly. So the game runs. Okay, it runs on the phone. Do wazoo. Oh, fucking bitch just yelled do wazoo in my ear. Oh my God, how ridiculous. So it doesn't matter what, and by the way, for those of you who said that you put the, uh, the age below 10 and it worked, no, it does not on my phone. So if I put the age below 10, it doesn't allow me to have a save data connection at all whatsoever. So it doesn't matter if I go up to 70 or 30 or whatever, as long as I don't go below 10. So, God, that is so loud in my ear. I'll turn it off in just a second, you guys, the sound. So this part works great, okay? It's going to load up. It's going to go through the tutorial and all as well. I'm going to show you guys this crazy shit because it makes no sense by all logic. None of this makes sense. Snarkle flap. Simto. Gavul. Mardunsa. Rorsha. Okay. So. Mardunsa. Right here. Simto. We can finally shut them up. God, that was loud. Okay. So right here. Now, before I connect my save data, what I want to show you guys is this. So right now, we, you see me going through the tutorial. The game is playing fine, okay? So I close the game, close everything. Everything's gone, okay? All of it. Now, this is where shit gets wild, okay? What oh, fucking ridiculous. It's gonna open. I know for 100%, ooh. Okay, it hasn't connected my save data yet. It's gonna open, all right? Now, it doesn't matter how many times I close the app, it's gonna open until, until I connect my save data. Now, what's really crazy is, and you just witnessed this, mark my fucking word, watch this crazy shit, okay? So I can connect my save, it doesn't matter what I do. If I do Facebook, if I do Google, if I do both, if I, it doesn't matter, okay? Pick one for the purpose of the video. I'm going to go with Google, okay? And it says select your city. Now, there's my city, as you can see, right here. 
connect, connect, okay? Now, see how it says downloading 0.2 of 14, 1%. Now, what's so interesting about this is it's going to jump, and it's not going to finish the download. But it's going to connect my save, okay? So the save is not corrupted because what's so interesting is on my other devices, if I was to go through this process, it would load my full save. So there's my city, and I'm on the game. Now, I can play for hours like this, okay? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if I open this up and I log in through Facebook. And so what I did do was this is when shit went different. If I was to if I close the game right now and try to reopen it, it's not going to open. OK, I have a 90 percent chance of it not opening or actually a pretty much 100 percent chance of it not opening on first boot. But if I sit there for maybe 10, 15 times, eventually it will open. Now, what's so frustrating is. What I did was I logged out of this Google account. I made a brand new Google account after I already had my city popped up, okay? So my city's here. I log out of Google Play, and it pops this up. I hit log out, and I had made a brand new Google account, and I saved this city to that new Google account. And this is when shit changed. And what you saw there, how it did the, the 2%, whatever, and then it fucking jumped really far, it popped up a thing and it said, we need to update your game. Do you allow or deny? And I clicked allow and it went all the way up to 48%. And then it crashed again. It didn't really crash so much as it just jumped ahead really fast and then opened the game. But that was the only time that I ever got that particular menu to pop up was when I made a new save. Now, if I go back and I try to do that again using that same Google account, I don't get that menu again. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay, it's got to have something to do with my save, right? So people are like, oh, well, your save data is corrupted. Well, as you can see here, I'm, a I'm accessing my save data right now. It's right here. I'm on it. How is it corrupted? So if I go and I buy a different device or I get on a different device, it's going to allow me to connect my city and it's going to work perfectly and it's going to open every time. So what is different about that device versus this device? They're both running the same operating system. One has less specs than the other when it comes to RAM or hard drive space. It, this phone has plenty of specification to run this, this damn game, okay? It's obvious it, it's compatible because it's running the game. You see what I'm saying? Now, I also thought about, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and clear all my saves off every device that I have at home. And I went through and I wiped out everything, all my tablets, all my phones, everything. Nothing has anything on them or active or on or anything. I tried it through fucking mobile Wi-Fi. I tried it through, or not, mo yeah, you know, mobile data. And then Wi-Fi. None of it's mattered, okay? I've tried every fucking thing when it comes to trying to fix this shit. I went through and I opened up the app info. And there's a part in there, the only part that's different on this phone than any other phone is right where it says storage permissions, it says deny. And I go through and I hit a, you know, I hit allow before doing this and it doesn't make any difference, okay? I don't understand it. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm saying. Now I'm gonna close the app and you're gonna see, you're gonna see it blink and not open, okay? You may, the video may cut off because I may smash this piece of shit phone. It's a possibility because I'm starting to get annoyed. You know, what's frustrating is SimCity Build It pl <laughs> blames the phone company and the phone company blames the game. So it's like, hello, motherfuckers. One of y'all is lying, okay? There's got to be a logical, technical reason for this issue on why it works on one device but not another. And... No idiot with a with no experience fucking going to Google, just, uh, gee, going on Reddit. No, I need somebody who really knows their shit because this is not okay. Like, what is wrong? Look at this. It's ridiculous, right? And I get all these comments that say, did you restart your app? No. You didn't just watch the fucking 10-minute video where I just explained how I, oh, my God, dude. If ever I wanted to reach through the phone and strangle somebody. So explain to me why does this? Somebody with some logic, okay? 
Don't come at me with the, did you clear your kachi? Did you not just watch me download the fucking game? Did you not just, here, I'll show you. I'm going to show you something. So all you people that jump up in the comments saying that. No, watch. Okay, game shut. Okay, I'm going to pop up. App info, right? Now, storage and kachi. Right here, you see this? Or catch or whatever you guys call this piece of shit. I don't give a fuck, honestly. Okay, it's clear. Now it's back to factory. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit permissions. I'm going to allow it. Okay? We're going to go through this again. I'm going to connect it to Facebook, and you're going to watch the same thing happen. Now, if somebody has an answer, I am all fucking ears. Oh, my God, that bitch. Do I do? Fucking who? What dumbass sat down at SimCity and went, do I do? Snorkel flap. Like, what the? F snorkel flap? I'm sorry, dude, but what the fuck is a snorkel flap and why is it yelling in my ear at 4 a.m.? Like, really, though? Who wants to have their eardrums blown out by, by some dumb blonde bitch going, snorkel flap? You're probably thinking, Jay, yeah, Missy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can hear them screaming, but I can. Oh my god. You know what's what's good though is Simto. Tell you in a minute. God damn, man, my ears. I don't know if you guys can hear that because I don't know how I got my sound set up. But they're just sitting there screaming in my ear. Bardunzo, sim flap, fucking snorkel butt. It's fucking annoying. And it's so loud. Okay. Let's see. Log in with Facebook. Log in with Google Play. So, let's go with Facebook. Because I didn't do that one last time. Not that it's going to fucking matter. But just to humor y'all with the YouTube world. Okay. Here we are again. Now. Watch, see how it's 1% jumps, and it goes back, and it says 4.4 .4 megabytes to download, and then it goes back. Now, I've actually closed this during this menu, like during the screen, and every time you boot the game, it tries to download. Now, what's interesting to me is that it doesn't actually finish the download, but it opens the save. <sighs> so, what the fuck? Now, here we are again. And we're going to log in with Google Play on top of Facebook. It's not going to matter, you guys. It's really not. It doesn't matter how I go about it. It's going to... This is the new one that I made. Yesterday. Okay. So, here we are. We've got it logged into two different things. All is well. The game is here. I can play. I can do whatever. And collect stuff and, and do what I, whatever I want to do. As long as I don't close the game, it'll stay open. And what's really interesting is something that I noticed last night is as long as I don't close the game, I usually can get it to reopen. So like, let's say that I minimize it like that, and then I try to reopen it, I can open it again. And sometimes it'll say uh, resuming game or whatever. So let's say I, I was to open, let's see. Say so I was to open an app and then try to go back to SimCity. See what I'm saying? I mean, it didn't do the resuming thing that it sometimes does. And like I said, it doesn't matter what I go and do it. Like, it doesn't matter what save I do. It doesn't matter what kind of... And we, here's what's really interesting is I had a girl in my group... And she was saying that she could play her game at home. Like, let's say that it was a similar situation to this, to where she could play her game as long as she didn't connect it via Wi-Fi. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's a, a firewall setting or, or some kind of internet setting is prohibiting that app from playing, right, on, on Wi-Fi. Maybe you have something in there that says background data, 
uh, don't allow after a certain amount, yada, yada, it's restrictions. We went through everything and there wasn't. And, and what we noticed was she was able to play her game on Wi-Fi uh, unless she connected her save data. That's when shit went bad. And I'm like, so wait a minute. So you can play the game via Wi-Fi as long as you don't connect your save data. And she's like, yep. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so here she is. She can play on mobile data with her particular save data. And she can play on her device with this thing, you know, with, with it working and everything as long as she doesn't connect her save. And it reminded me of back when I bought my Stylo 4. Because this is what happens, you guys. This is exactly what happened to me when I bought my Stylo 4. Now, what happened was, was I had a Stylo 3, okay? And I went and I upgraded to the Stylo 4. Supposed to have better graphics and all this other shit. And so I get it home and I'm playing it and it looks great and everything's working out real well. And then what I noticed was it kept doing this, you know, every time I would connect my save data, it would do this thing where it would blink and it would shut off. And what was interesting was when I would leave my house, it would open more often than when I wasn't at home. So, like, if I was at home, it wouldn't open for anything. Like, I could not get it to open. But when I wasn't at home and I was maybe at the phone store or whatever, it would open constantly. See what I'm saying, you guys? Blink, shut off. Like, what? in the fuck is going on here? I've tried installing all these stupid things like boost your RAM, app killer, fucking uh, all this other shit. And none of it matters, you guys. None of it helps. None of it works. Nothing. And so, anyways, I'm, I'm there and I'm talking to the people because you can't just say, hey, I'm interested in that phone. Let's go ahead and pop it up out the box, let me play my video games, make sure they work, and then I'll buy the phone. It don't work that way. you got to pay for the goddamn phone first. Once you pay for the phone, you can't do anything. You know what I mean? You can't do anything about it once you purchase it. You have a manufacturer's warranty for if it's faulty, but the problem is, is the phone is not faulty. There's nothing wrong with the phone. It's a fucking game that's the problem. So you contact the game people, and they say it's the phone. Now, what's so frustrating is, in a sense... It's both the game and the phone. It's just for whatever reason, it doesn't like this particular device. Now, I'm sure, I'm certain, without a doubt, that if I was to ask people out there in the comments reading, you know, watching this video, do any of you have a Moto G stylus at home where the game works? And you'd say, yeah. Okay, so it's not that the game doesn't run on this particular operating system or this particular phone. Because it does run. You're watching it run. So where is the logic from when you connect the save data to when it crashes? And I'm telling you, if I do this long enough, if I sit here and I open and shut and open and shut and reboot the game and reboot the phone and da-da-da, it'll eventually open up the save. Eventually. Okay? And it'll work and everything will be fine. Then I close it and the same thing happens. Now, it's pretty fucked up that you drop 300 bucks, damn near $300 on a phone to have this happen. You know what I mean? And... It's kind of a deal breaker when it's a game that you run a, a channel on that you've put five years of your life into. It's kind of a problem. It's not like, oh, just find a different game. You know what I mean? So what do you do? Do you go out and spend $300 on another device so it can do this? No. This is the second fucking device that this has happened to. The second time this has happened to me. Now, when it first happened, I assumed that it was an LG issue. Because I had only owned LGs, and I mean, yes, of course, anytime you go on the internet, you can always see people saying, I had this happen, da 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 da. And you always get the 97 people going, do this, do that. Okay, look at this, man. Where is the logic? And so you stand there, and I'm talking to Geek Squad yesterday, and I've got all these devices laid out on the table, I've got all these phones laid out, and I'm showing them. This one has crappier specs, and it's running, and it's not that the game doesn't run right? And so the kid's like, well, maybe the save data is corrupt. I'm like, okay, then why does it work on a different device? Why is it working as long as I don't close the game? And he's like, well, I don't know. That's, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, thank you. So you ever have an issue with your computer or device 
and for no rhyme or reason whatsoever, it just starts working or it breaks and it fixes itself. And you have no reason, no logic as to why or what was going on, or maybe your car did something and it was possessed and then all of a sudden it fixes itself and it's never done it again. This is one of those things. There's no logic. I can't find any logic behind this, why it would work sometimes, but not at other times. So I don't need some illiterate person with Google to go and type in how to fix Sim City building. I need somebody who really knows their shit, okay? To give me an answer as to what the hell is going on so that I can decipher the difference. So if I, I can't just go out, all of us, because it can't just be happening to me, okay? And there's a lot of forms out there where I'm reading shit like, just like this. Now, a lot of people haven't made the connection that, you know, went through trial and error to see like, hey, it happens right after I connect my save. So, you know, one thing that I have not tried is I have not tried an old save. That's what I should do. I should try a different save. I gotta figure out which account that goes to, and I'll do that. So I'm gonna post this video up. I'm gonna try to find an old save and see if it does the same thing. Now, what's interesting to me is if you put two devices on a table, okay? I have the Moto, so what, what I did was I bought the LG Stylo 3. Everything worked and the game worked fine. I bought the LG Stylo 4 and it did this crap. But one thing that I did notice with the LG Stylo 4 was if I changed the resolution, I could open the game every single time. Now, what was interesting about that is the resolution was so zoomed out, okay? And I couldn't see really much of any. The chat was like, it was like trying to read it from, from space. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's ridiculous. I can't play like this. But it opened every time. And so I thought, maybe it's a resolution issue, okay? But what I've noticed about this game and this is what baffles me. It's usually when you download a game, you have this game on a phone and it, and it works the same for everybody. Now with this particular game, and I've never seen any other game do this, everybody's game looks and acts different. So for example, I have X amount of devices and on some devices it's super zoomed in and other devices it's not. Some devices, the bar, like up front, the loading bar is tiny, whereas other ones it's not. Some devices you can zoom way out and get better angles of your city, and other devices it's zoomed way in. Now that sounds like a resolution thing, but what's interesting to me is that some cities allow you to, uh, how many people here don't have the ability to chat when they are not on their main screen? Like, let's say you're in the war screen or somebody else's city. You try to hit the chat bubble and it doesn't work, right? That's how it is on my feeder. It drives me fucking nuts. It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to be able to chat no matter where you are on the game. Now, <clears throat> for those of you sitting here watching this, you're probably like, seriously, that's fucked up because I can't. Now, what's the reason for that? What loaded differently for you versus me that allows me to talk in the game all over the place, but not you, right? And it's super frustrating. It, it really is because you get a different device, same save data, and all of a sudden you can do things elsewhere. I had a guy in my group a while back and he had this incident where he, we had an update and all of a sudden, uh, he was on there just gung-ho about the traffic lights and the, the, the cars and, and all this shit. And I'm like, everybody's just like, what are you talking about? Dude, there's always been cars and traffic lights. He's like, no, there hasn't. We're like, yeah, dude, there has. He's like, my game never had traffic lights or cars. And we're like, are you serious? And so I looked it up and he was right. A lot of people don't have traffic lights and cars. And I'm like, well, that's fucked up. So this whole time he's been looking at this game that is just boring as shit. It doesn't have anything going on in it. And he was just stoked about all the detail and the little helicopters flying around and everything. 
And I'm like, seriously? And I'm like, did you update your game and that's what changed? He goes, no, I just got a new phone. And I'm like, oh. So why is it that one phone does one thing and another does another? And then it's like, okay, well, an old phone could have a bad graphics card or whatever. Just you hear all these things that people say. But the phones that we're comparing these to are decent phones. So somebody please explain this phenomenon to me because I'm starting to get really just like, what the fuck? It's not fair for a game to pull this shit, okay? We shouldn't be able to put 100 devices down on a table and have them all be running all differently and all over the place and not working and, and some crazy shit. And better yet, you know how they could solve this? They could do what I've been saying for five years and that is change the way we retrieve our save data. Why in the hell do we even have to log in through Google or Facebook? That's ridiculous. Why in the hell has an EA made it to where we have a save data account, like a fucking, like a Steam account, where we save our stuff through there? Where if we're caught hacking, we're, our whole account gets suspended and banned. And more so than just, oh, this Facebook was suspended and banned, right? It would save people a lot of hassle, technical issues, and it sure as hell would help a lot of us retrieve our save data, and then it would really help with the, the hacking and stuff. And we should be able to just log in and out of our profiles, get instant messaging, friend each other on the game. This whole Facebook shit is ridiculous. And what's really ridiculous is you can't wipe your Facebook saves through this game, according to SimCity anyway, is if you have this saved to your Facebook and you want to go ahead and start a new city and save it to that same Facebook, you can't overwrite it and you can't clear it. Well, that's fucking stupid. Why? You know, that's really stupid. And so I don't know what the rhyme or reason is for this garbage, okay? I've tried factory resetting the phone. I have done everything. So unless somebody has some magic answer, I'm at my wit's end with this shit. And I can't just go to the phone store and buy a new phone. Who the hell has $400 to drop on a new phone to have this happen? You know what I'm saying? So if somebody can please explain to me why in the hell, and you know what's really frustrating is it's not even this type of phone. Like I said before, I bet you, I bet you there's, some people watching this that have the Moto G stylus and their shit works fine, right? So what the hell? And it's not, the phone is not defective. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. So now I'm just repeating myself. This is starting to piss me off, you guys. It really is.